In this episode, we continue our exploration of Costa Rica from the beach to the cloud mountains and back down in the central valley to join a special event. We are Nick and Mathilde, and in 2022, we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender. Europe, the Americas, Australia, Asia and Africa, we want to see it all. This is day 375 and we're in Costa Rica. Welcome to the next Meridian Expedition. Little break at the gas station in Costa Rica. Yep. And it cost 61,000 colones. And uh. Buon provecho! Buon provecho! <laughs> Which sounds like a lot, but technically it's uh, about 100 euros. Yeah, 105 euros. 105 For euros. Full, full, full tank. Right? For about. Yeah. For about a hundred and hundred and five liters, hundred liters. Yeah. In the last episode, we traveled down the Pacific coast of the Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica. Let's pick up where we left it, and again on another amazing beach ride. Beware the tides on this kind of drive. And once again, we set up camp on another beautiful beach and we're just getting on our evening when the night took an unexpected turn. Pura vida, pura ¿Cómo te vida. llamas? Julio. Julio, yo soy Nico. Ok. Bien, Perfecto. pura vida. Pura vida. <laughs> These are exactly the experiences we love doing. I was just sitting in the car watching a uh, YouTube episode and all of a sudden I see these guys doing something in the, on the sand and I was like, okay, I have to go and check him out. And they were catching lobsters. I'm going to show you all the videos. And I'm so happy I got to meet them because now they're cooking lobster for us. And I told them they're going to be on the video and they're like, you have to film us. We want to see us on the video. So here they are. Se llaman? Julio. Julio. Hola, Julio. Hola. Muchas gracias Mucho para el lobster. Uh, ¿Y tú? Marisol. Ciao, Marisol. ¿Tú? Erickson. Erickson. ¿Tú? Marta. Ciao Marta. E tu come ti chiamano? Gerald. Gerald. E chi van a pescare tutto il lobster? Le, e los, el, tre, los tre. Julio, Jerickson e io. Sì. Uno, due e tre. Ah sì, tutti vanno a lì. Vamos pa' che? Sì. Vaya para che? Para che vea come lo hace. Sì, sì, sì. Vamos. Ven. Pues, ¿A Julio tiene moto? Sì. That's the hook that they use, <laughs> and at the end of the hook here, this is how they catch the lobsters. He goes in just with the mask about three to five meters below with the fins and hooks it all up. <laughs> Here's a lobster. Muy rico, eh? Siembra. Solo good. Looks good. Enséñale, vaya. Muchas gracias. Voy a preguntarle. Sí, pregunta. Matilde. Are you sure you don't want some? Really? Wow. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Eh? Fresh from the ocean. Fresh from the ocean, literally alive, like 
an hour ago. Okay. Crazy enjoy. Ciao. Yo, también. Sí, ma, yo miro como tú lo hace y después. Hágale, ah, Yeran. Mira. Sí. Esto hace así. Sí. Sacas. Ya dijo que hizo la llave del carro. Se va a comer. Está, está. Bonito. Está. Perfecto. So, rip the shell. Ajá. Uh -huh. And then once the shell is ripped, pull out the meat. Yes. And it was alive one hour ago. Only. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Muy bueno. Good, good. Good, good. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Perfecto. Buenas noches. Buen viaje. Ciao. We wake up on the last beach camp of this week. Uh, it's again super nice, but we need to leave the beach. We need to leave the beach for two reasons. One, we need to move forward, that's one. And the second is that it's so warm here during the day. It's 40 during the night, it's 30. And even though we can leave the entire rooftop open like this, the air doesn't really go inside. We have a small fan. The small fan here. But it, it's just so warm. Today we take the boat and we go in the mountains. Hopefully it's going to be a bit fresher and we'll go back to the beach after that. Bye bye warm beach. Good, bye. Good. Ooh, bye. It's, it's uh, 8... It's 8.15. And it's already dirty outside. Okay, that's us. Tickets? Made it. We made it. And it is right now 11.49. The boat leaves in? 10 minutes. Yes. love ferries. For a day or just an hour it is always a nice break in the driving routine. This time we took advantage to eat lunch and do a flip-flop repair and if Nick is becoming a skilled mechanic we would have never thought this would become useful in other ways. After one year of travel, it's not the only piece of equipment that is falling apart. Just a week earlier... How big is a hole? It's not even a hole at this point. I can get my hand through. Oh no. Your short jeans? Yeah. I mean, temporarily fixed. Nice, no more holes. As we leave the ocean behind us and climb the mountains, the temperature eventually starts going down, the vegetation changes and we wind forever higher. They call these mountains the cloud mountains and on this first drive we got a pretty good understanding of why.
Tonight, we are at 1,300 meters altitude and we're doing a night hike. It's gonna be sweet. For now, we are cooking curry. We're parked here. Matilda's showering. I just showered and that's the entrance to the night. It is much colder since we're up higher, so pants on. But at least we'll sleep much better. For the curry, we're doing vegetable curry. So we have green beans, broccoli, we have rice, coconut milk, Nicola, yeah. and onion. Mm, looks beautiful. Mm. Yum. 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 And the curry is made. Mmm. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Nice. Random. Uh, I guess now in the in the with the rain, they would be. Um, Let me shine only one my light on. Okay. okay. This okay. way you know where to look. I don't have the entire light on him. Actually, if you move, if you look up, 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 this is him. Oh. Wow. He's so what? Beautiful. Get close, he's not gonna hurt you, he's not gonna jump or anything. Oh, oh my god, that looks like a fairy. It's what? like, I'll oh. oh go. Like it has no tree in that sur Oh, I see a nice spider out there in the spider web. Maybe more of them are, oh, another one is oh, here man. closer if somebody is interested in spider. This is a funnel web spider, just there. Where is it? A night walk in the cloud forests of Costa Rica is the promise of all kinds of spooky creatures. And between all of them, we just found a golfer escaping us by digging a tunnel. So he doesn't think about running away. No, he digs. He thinks Okay. okay, and uh, his scientific name? <laughs> it's the uh, yeah. stripe pompid viper is the name of the species. It's probably out of focus because I focus for yeah, the scope. It's out yeah, of I'll focus. help you. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So that's, in English, what is it called? Cicada. Cicada. Yeah. night hike was quite the experience, especially because we have no idea of the amount of species that is surrounding us every time we walk in the forest. Oh, and some say the golfer is still digging. We left the Monteverde Cloud Mountain to camp in another scenic place not far from there. drove down the mountain by night and in the fog it was a bit spooky and we ended up here out of the Volcan Arenal. Nick is in bed doing drone images of it. Barely woken up. No, I'm joking. Look, according to Google, we are currently in the lake. So whenever the satellite image was taken, the lake level was over the trees over there and yeah the level went down quite a lot 
uh, there's a dam on this lake they're producing electricity out of this reservoir the funny part is that there's some villages that were flooded in the 70s to build up the reservoir and now some ruins of the villages are appearing that's cool we spend the rest of the morning exploring the trails on that very sparsely populated shore of the lake and for a few hours we did enjoy the encounter of one of the animals on our most wanted list, the toucan. Slowly, we headed toward the center of the country, to another famous or infamous volcano in the area. We're at Volcano Poas. Yes. Uh, it is <coughs> an active volcano. It's super easy to go there because you can just walk on concrete. 700 meters between the parking and the crater. And officially, we're only allowed to stay 20 minutes at the crater because of toxic fumes. And all of that for $15 plus $5 of parking. <laughs> Poas, last time it erupted was not long ago, 2017, at the time visitors and residents had to be evacuated. Now the visits are very restricted. So the crater of Poas looks awesome. It looks like this. Cool, huh? And that's what we can see. Less cool, huh? <laughs> Impressed? No. <laughs> Nothing that patience couldn't fix though, and with a bit of sun, suddenly the crater appeared. Oh. Happier? Much better now. <laughs> we couldn't see it at first. We were really upset. We we're like, oh no. <laughs> Now Not it's perfect. From the Volcano Poas, we are literally above what we called the Central Valley in Costa Rica. A huge valley region comprising the capital San Jose and a number of major cities of the country. We are expected the same evening there. And you know us, when we receive an invitation, we show up. We've been invited by the Land Rover Club of Costa Rica a few weeks ago to join them for a uh, Land Rover meeting in San Jose so we sort of mix our little itinerary to meet them so now we're on our way and San Jose is very busy there's a lot of traffic but I like traffic so it's fun we're all fighting to get into the roundabout we're all fighting Nick literally just said, I missed city driving because remember, he loves chaos. <laughs> That's cool. Hola! 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 Next to the red one. Okay. I'm Roberto. Ah, ciao Roberto. Ah, nice to meet you. You get back next to the red one. Okay. Okay. Vamos. Hey, I'm back at the fender. I'm good too. I don't care. 
<laughs> Hola. Hey, Matilde. Mucho nice gusto. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Ciao. ¿Cómo te llamas? Oscar. This is Oscar. And he's got a Series 2. Everything is very manual. Look at how much play there is. The handbrake. Four gears. This is his fan because there's no fan in the car. And look at this beauty from outside. What a legend. And of course, LED lights, amazing, just like ours, very cute. Meeting so many new friends, we also were able to ask the one question we had for Costa Ricans. So we're with some friends from the Land Rover Club of Costa Rica. And I have one question for you guys. How do you use Pura Vida? <laughs> <laughs> Pura Vida is the slogan of Costa Rica. And since we arrived, we heard people telling us Pura Vida in any context and for anything. It's time we understand how to use it. We use it for everything, right? Actually, we use it for saying it's, everything is okay, everything is good, life is pretty good. Basically, this is just that. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> it depends a lot on the tone that you use for answering Pura Vida. Uh -huh. Because if, if you use it on a sarcastic tone, it's not going to be good. Uh -huh. But if you use it as happy, you're going to say Pura Vida. As you can say, I'm good, uh -huh. I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm feeling good. So that's usually what it's you can translated say, to. Actually, you can say yes, Pura Vida. You can say no, ah, Pura Vida. You can say Pura Vida? <laughs> Depending on the mood. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And if I say Pura Vida to say hello, people oh, will yeah, be like, yeah. okay? Actually, they will answer Pura Vida. Okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you to the Land Rover Club of Costa Rica for their amazing welcome. We then followed one of the coordinator to the neighboring city of Cartago because we had work to do over there. At the garage, just uh, checking a few little things before we leave. And a lot of you have written, you guys are always at the garage, like almost every country, almost every month. Yes, that is true. We don't actually have problems with the car. It's just we meet so many people who are Land Rover fans and they all say, hey, I know a garage and he'll check your car. And usually they always check our car for free and they always figure out little small things and they're always very helpful. Um, this maintenances that we're doing is usually oil maintenances and we don't do them all at once, like the front axle, the engine oil, the gearbox oil, the transfer case oil, all the different oils. We always, I have like a note on my phone and all the oils, are with different timelines and so it looks like we're always stopping but it's always servicing small maintenances except for uh yesterday we just changed all the u-joints because why not and so we get a lot of free help which is awesome and that's it people are very nice and what happened is that in the middle of all of this we asked a super innocent question and the innocent question was like oh we have a small vibration at those speeds and they started looking into it. What was a two hours or three hours stop at the mechanic shop ended up in us staying two days and removing the entire transfer case. I mean, when I say us, it's Nick and the mechanicians of the garage. I had not planned to film this whole thing, but they're so nice and eventually it's taking us today. So it's now part of the video. Uh, ice cream with strawberry and custard, apparently, mm. it's going to be interesting. Typical from here. <laughs> so yeah, what was supposed to be a 2-3 to three hours maintenance break turned into a 2 days job. But you know what? We have no regrets. And this change of plan actually offered us some amazing time with new friends who took us all around the city to eat typical food and meet their family. Priceless experience. What are you doing? I am uh, cleaning all the pistons, all the interior parts of uh, the transfer case because it needs to be super clean otherwise the problem could come back. So it takes a long time and it's the worst job. <laughs> and there are a lot of pieces in the transfer case.
day three at the garage. Uh, we went out with the team yesterday again. Um, it was so nice. They invited us at their mom's place and she cooked traditional food. We're a bit like family now because we eat breakfast, lunch and dinner together. Crepes in the making in the middle of the garage. I don't guarantee that there won't be uh, motor oil in it. Okay. But I guarantee that it's going to be Nutella and it's going to be yum. Nutella's here in the middle of a Land Rover and parts discovery. We're almost done with the crepe and we got the little surprise from Fabiola, who's the girlfriend of one of the owners of the garage, and she brought us some gifts. Ciao, Fabi. Hola, a todos. Pura vida. ¿Cómo están? <laughs> bueno, a ellos les trajimos aquí unos chocolatitos deliciosos que son típicos de Costa Rica. Guayabita con un sabor delicioso a guayaba que aquí este, nosotros la producimos. Y milan de menta relleno de menta. Y por supuesto no puede faltar la salsa lisano, que esto se le echa a todo, desde el tamal que consumimos en diciembre hasta los frijoles, el arroz, lo que sea. Es un regalo pequeño para ellos, pero para que lo disfruten mucho. Bye. Gracias, Fabi. Mucho gusto. Súper, súper, súper. Tenemos suerte. Uh -huh. mm. <risa> Cheers. Cheers. <risa> That made for another busy week on this world tour. Next week we continue through Costa Rica and we can promise you some absolute gorgeous places and a lot more wildlife. We noticed many of you who watch our videos are not subscribed to the channel, so hit the subscribe button. It helps us ton. Thank you so much in advance. Thank you so much. And see you next week! You move like that. What the heck? And then you take what's inside and you eat it. Mocos. It's good. Bueno. Ah, mocos. Te gusta? Ah, mocos. Mocos. ¿Qué es mocos? <laughs> Looks like uh, ass rock from the nose. Ah, sí, sí. Mocos. Mocos. <laughs> eh. So it's like the same thing. Now I don't want to... It tastes nice. It tastes good. It puts it in the middle. It's funny. Like mm that? -hmm. It's like crunchy. And it puts it like that. No! You like it? Now we have eight, so you have to... It's interesting. Do you want to go?